Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy crochet tote bag. This tote bag is super versatile and it's perfect to take to the beach or to the supermarket. You will need DK 8 ply cotton yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors and a darning needle. To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your hook into the loop. To begin, chain 51. To chain, you yarn over and pull through a loop. Repeat this until you have 51 chains. We're now going to single crochet along the row. To single crochet, insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Single crochet in each chain until the end of the row. In total, you should have 50 single crochets. To begin row 2, chain 1 and turn. Chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. You're going to repeat row 2 all the way until row 16. So to begin, chain 1, turn, and then single crochet in each stitch along the row. To begin row 17, chain 1 and turn. Single crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. You should have 49 stitches in total. Place 3 single crochets into the last stitch. We're creating a border around the rectangle, so we're now going to work along the short side of the rectangle. Space out 12 single crochets along the short side. Place 3 single crochets into the corner stitch. We're working back along the foundation chain. Single crochet into the next 48 stitches. Place 3 single crochets into the corner stitch. Evenly space out 12 single crochets along the short side. Place 2 single crochets into the last stitch. In total you should have 132 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. To begin round 2, chain 2. Chain 2 does not count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet in each stitch along the round. To double crochet, yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You should have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. Double crochet in each stitch along the round. In total you should have 132 stitches.
Once you're at the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. And we're going to repeat round 2 until the end of round 21. To begin round 22, chain 4, and this doesn't count as a stitch. We are going to do a double treble crochet. To do this, yarn over 3 times. Insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You should have 5 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. And yarn over and pull through 2. You've created a double treble crochet. Chain one and skip one stitch. And then double treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and skip one stitch. Repeat the pattern of double treble crochet, chain one, skip one stitch all the way around. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. To begin round 23, chain 1, single crochet in the first stitch, and then single crochet into the chain space. Single crochet into the stitch, and then single crochet in the chain space until the end of the round. You should have 132 stitches. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. You're going to repeat rounds 22 and 23 until the end of round 27. To begin round 28, chain 1, single crochet in each stitch along the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. Repeat round 28 until the end of round 31. To begin round 32, chain 1, single crochet into the next 17 stitches. Once you have 17 single crochets, you're going to chain 84. This chain is the base for your strap. You can make your straps longer or shorter by adding or reducing chains. Once you have 84 chains, skip 20 stitches. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next 46 stitches. Once you've single crocheted 46, chain 84. Skip 20 stitches and insert your hook into the next stitch. Single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You have created your two shoulder straps. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. To begin round 33, chain 1, single crochet in each stitch along the round. When you reach the chains, place one single crochet in each chain. 
you should have a total of 260 stitches. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For rounds 34 to 36, chain 1 and single crochet in each stitch of the round, and then slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round 36, slip stitch into the first stitch. Fasten off. Weave in all of your ends. You've finished your crochet tote bag.